All right, so there's a lot of confusion on what the best rep range is for hypertrophy, for building muscle. And so the two things that you need to really stimulate muscle growth is you need to stimulate those muscles and get close to failure, and you need a certain amount of volume, meaning a certain amount of reps, a certain amount of sets. So the classic prescription is eight to 12 reps. Why is that? Is because you can get pretty close to failure while also getting a good amount of volume as well. So you can do three, four sets, 10 to 12 reps, and you get 30 to 40 reps in per exercise. It's a good amount of volume and you can get pretty close to failure. Now you can also build muscle with low reps or high reps. The problem with low reps is it's hard to get enough volume. So if you do 10 sets of three reps, that's only 30 total reps. And you just did 10 sets, you're gonna be tired after doing 10 sets, because you also gotta get close to failure. It's not just three easy reps. It's 10 sets of three hard reps. You wanna be close to failure and also have enough volume. Meanwhile, you can do higher reps, 20, 30 reps. The thing is, it's harder to get closer to failure. Most people will give out early, they'll think it burns a lot, and you know, if you're doing 30 reps, you probably, you probably could get more than that. You could probably get 35, 40 reps. And you might feel like it burns, like you can't do anymore, and it's just a lot harder to get close to failure. Most people just wanna quit after, you know, 25 reps, it's hard. So you can still build muscle though. If you like high reps, you know, there are some, some bodybuilders that were proponents of high rep training, 20, 30 reps. And as long as you're getting close to failure, that's the biggest thing. In the same way, you can still build muscle with lower reps, um, but you're gonna have to do more total sets, you know, and it's not like, it's not like you don't build any muscle with low reps, power, lift, power lifters, they have a lot of muscle, but there's a reason why bodybuilders don't train like powerlifters. Also, the problem with low reps is it's a lot easier to get injured. So, you know, it's good to switch it up. It's good to do some low reps sometimes, you know, three to five, six reps. But eight to 12 reps is normally a good recommendation because you can get close to failure you can grind out those last 10, 11 reps, and you also get a good amount of volume. So, in conclusion, rep ranges, you know, you can play around with them. Um, when you're more advanced, you can, you can do more with that, but the reason why the eight to 12 rep range is recommended is because of those reasons. Volume and close to failure intensity.